My name is Gwen Easter, and I am running for the legislature for District 11. I would like to ask for your vote on May 12th. This video is being paid for by Gwen Easter for legislature. I wanted to take a little time this evening to share with you a little bit about myself and to why I'm running for the legislature for North Omaha. I was born and raised in North Omaha, and I care a lot about uh, my community and the families that are here. I also have uh, established my uh, child care business here for 20 years. I was personally um, affected by the monopoly and the gentrification that has taken place in our community. And so uh, my second business ended up closing years ago. And, um, and my um, first uh, original child care has been very much affected by the um, Public private partnerships with Omaha Public School Systems, uh, the Buffett Early Childhood Institute, 75 North, and their other uh, collaborating partners, the learning community. And um, so that was one of the one of the reasons why I decided to run for office, you know, as a, a entrepreneur and a black woman, you know. I was very proud of my my business and my accomplishments, and um, I've I also uh, provided other services to families. Uh, I I have helped support families in the areas of housing, uh, education. You know, I provided GED and ESL classes to to families. I um, tutored children who struggled with reading who. Um, have a learning disability, dyslexia. And so, you know, to to work very hard for for what you have and then to have others, you know, come into our community and begin to make decisions about our community that affects our businesses, our housing and home, it hurt. Um, it hurt me, you know, very much. And so, I don't want to see what happened with with my business, my home, and all the hundred other childcare businesses who were pushed out, plus those daycares who were who who still you know struggle to keep kids in their daycares. Although right now the um, the learning centers that was established by these private public partnerships um, with the school system are closed because of the corona uh, virus, you know, they will be back open and we will continue to have to, um, you know, um, deal with them wanting to claim that parents and providers should have degrees to teach and take care of children. So these issues are still issues. Um, I also, decided to run because of the housing issue. And because I understand about poverty and I understand about, you know, struggles of families within our community, especially if you lose a job or, you know, can't find a job. And as we know here in North Omaha, um, we have jobs that only really pay sometimes minimum wage. When we really need jobs to come into our community that pay livable wages, which I want to talk about that in just a few minutes. But to talk about the housing issue, not every um, person can afford to live in the um, these mixed developments that they're calling affordable. Because somebody, again, that's making 10 or $9 an hour, they can't afford to live there without a voucher. And as we know, Section 8, you know, is two or three years before, you know, a person can even, you know, get a place. Now, we have uh, built um, homes for elderly, which is a good thing. And I feel that if we could build townhouses that have two and three bedrooms and 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 the elderly can pay five fifty 
to 650, which is a good thing. This is wonderful. Then, then those same housing could be developed right here in our community for single families um, for them to rent. Also, if we had jobs, you know, that paid uh, livable wages, families could afford to either rent or buy houses that are being built in our community. And, and we want to make sure that they are, you know, giving, being given that opportunity to buy houses instead of, you know, others coming into the community and being able to purchase the housing. You know, we want to make sure families remain here. North Omaha is not the only place that has poverty, you know, uh, in, in the state of Nebraska. So, so developing housing, affordable housing, um, like, like we've done for, for the elderly can and, and will help, you know, all families. So I feel that, you know, if we offered incentives to developers, then they could come in here and build for our families. Uh, the other issue is the jobs. We need um, companies to be given incentives, you know, to come in and bring uh, livable uh, wage jobs into this community. We also need, you know, trades to come back into this community. And I would like to work with, with our community and, and leaders to, to do that. I also, um, you know, feel that the juvenile justice systems, you know, we need to make some changes there so that, you know, minorities are not, you know, you know, ending up into these systems, not that others don't, don't get in trouble, but, the, but the majority of the time, minorities and, and, and when black children end up in these uh, systems, you know, we need to we need to do something to change that, you know, and we can do that by working together. We also need um, more than just one, you know, organization or a few organizations sitting at the table making the decisions. You know, there there are many uh, businesses and, and 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 organizations in this community that is capable of helping families and children. We have too many uh, people coming into this community that don't live here, establishing and making decisions about our children and our families. And so these are the areas that I would like to focus on. I don't know everything, um, but I am willing to work with the community. I'm willing to work with the leadership. Um, and others to 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 um, you know be a blessing to this this community the best that I can. And so I'm gonna ask for your vote on May 12th. And um I'd like to thank you for your time. I also wanted to say that I'm appointed by Governor Pete Ricketts to his early childhood interagency coordinating council. And uh, I did not make this video on their behalf, but I really um, appreciate um, the opportunity to, um, you know, be a voice for providers. So I, um, I, I like to just say thank you all for that, and um, and let's try to work together as a community to better our community for the sake of our children and our families and our businesses. Thank you.